you are tuning in to the Real Uncensored Browns Fair. And, uh, yeah, I'm in my sweater because Christmas came a little motherfucking early after day three after the draft, baby. That's right. That's right. You know, we feeling ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We gonna let the swag go down. We got a fellow dreadhead in there. You know what I'm saying? Let the... Let the dreads drip. You feel me? Let them drip. Because we going to drip all on these motherfuckers right here, man. I'm dead ass. Dead ass, bro. I'm so convinced. I'm so convinced we going 19 and 0. Yeah. Yeah, I, I said it. 19 and 0. Oh, we going to get to the Super Bowl, but maybe we won't win it. Who going to stop us? Who? Are going to stop us. You get greedy. You get the taki taki. You get red wine. Who I'm 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 over the Monty Hooker stuff. Like I said, we got another dread head. I, I got faith in my dread head. My I ain't gonna call him dread. My my other lock nation brother. Shoot. We have picked up Mac Wilson. Another one. That I seen, that I wanted. We got two out of three. The only three we missed on was Imani Hooker, but like I said, I, I ain't mad about that no more. In the doors, I trust. Yes. The gridiron God. Yes. Give him his due. Give him his just. Give him his pay. Give him give him whatever. Man, I I I, I gotta say this though. I'm really happy that John Dorsey got Alonzo Highsmith. And Elliot Wolf behind him in his corner. Paul DePosta, Paul D, Paul D DePosta, whatever. Um, I don't know what he do anymore, but I'm sure he he has a little hand in it. Uh, this staff, this this front office, this team, uh, the collections that we got, obviously going down to John having the final say. But you know, uh, man, let me get my dog pounding here. I want y'all because I'm repping. Dog pound, yeah, man. I'm I'm afraid because after we win the Super Bowl, we already know Alonzo and Elliot. You know what I mean? They're probably gonna be gone. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be out of here because they 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 name gonna be ringing bells. They name is gonna be ringing bells. They're gonna be like, man, who is these dudes that be drafting these these high caliber team? You know. There's nobody. We going 19 and no. That's that. Who going to stop us? Who going to... You can't throw on us. You got Denzel Ward on one side. You got T. Mitch and Greedy Williams on the field at the same time or even on the other side. Then you got Demarius Randall ball hawking. Then you're going to have Red Wine ready to ball hawk too or ready to throw the hit. Then you got Jannar Avery on one side, about to blitz your ass, bringing the pressure. Then you got Taki Taki on the other side, blitzing, coming to bring the pressure. Mac Wilson, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if he's going to start over Joe or not. You can let him develop. Got him in the fifth round. Ain't no harm. Ain't no harm. I forgot about the other dudes, too, that we drafted. My bad. I, I stopped on uh, Mac Wilson. Then we got a kicker. Which I thought we should have got. I don't know who. How do you draft a kicker? Or how do you even scout a kicker is better what I'm trying to say. But whatever we got one, they say he got a pop to his leg. I don't, you know what? I think I know what he mean. I, I, I know what he mean. But it would it would have translate, you know what I'm saying? That's those are situational moments. So if he a competitor, they say he competitive. He got the dog in him. The kicker got the dog in him. The A, then we good, we good, man. We ain't we ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. Yo, bro. Seriously though, um, and then what we drafted? Oh, uh, uh, the uh, the corner after from Tulane. Oh, we drafted the offensive of lineman too. Uh, Drew Forbes, offensive offensive of lineman. I think an offensive of tackle. Uh, maybe you switch to guard. Maybe you go to right. Who knows? Just just to add depth. You know what I'm saying? So people could be satisfied because you know everybody's gonna trip. 
I ain't draft no offensive players, blah, blah, blah. It was a defensive heavy draft, man. Every draft is different. You don't got to get offensive players every year. We got Baker could carry this offense right now. The offense we got right now, he could carry it. Then you got Donnie Lewis Jr. All dudes I don't really know, but give him a shot, man. We got, like I said, we got two out of the three. Who going to stop us, man? You got Baker Mayfield on offense going to carry this offense. The dude set a record for throwing the most passing touchdowns to Ricky last year. What you think he going to do now? Huh? What you think is going to happen? Oh, I know what's going to be hap- What's going to happen. He on me in the end zone. You know how they call Gucci? Mr. Zone 6. They don't call Baker Mayfield Mr. End Zone 6. Mr. End Zone 6. I like that ring, though. I'm going to give me a t-shirt on with that. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Revere Premium. Um... Yeah, man, I can't, I cannot believe this, man. Christmas came early, bro. I'm in my Christmas sweater because Christmas came motherfucking early, bro. I got what I wanted. I, I'm basking in it. You know what? I said I couldn't wait till the season start. I'm going to wait. I'm going to just keep talking my shit. Just keep talking it. Because I have never seen us be this talented ever. Since I've been a Browns fan. I've never seen us this talented. I've never seen us have... This much talent on one team since we returned. Not even when we had Brandon, not even when we had K2. And we had we had a couple studs on defense that year. I was a little young, so it's kind of hard to really remember all those guys. But really, this team, I mean, dogs, all of them. All of them. This is what the Browns needed. Was dudes. Because I mean, if you think about it, let's let's be honest. Let's take it back to the to the even when we had Hugh, okay? Even even before then, we was never ever out of games. Ever. We always fought to the end. We just did not know how to win games. That's because we didn't have enough playmakers that did what that knew what it was gonna take. Not only had the IQ, but it had the the Literally, I I hate to keep using this analogy, but had the dog in him. You know, we're like, we're going to fight regardless. We're not going to be defeated. I'm going to make this happen one way or the other. We have that now. We have that out of Greedy Williams. I seen it out of the Taki Taki. Sheldrick, Red, Sheldrick Redwine, he don't look like no slump. And Matt Wilson gonna have a chip on his shoulder. And you taking accountability that you got Baker Mayfield, who was the dog that really turned it around around here. Once you got the quarterback, you see, that's what I'm saying. We was we was so close into them games in previous years. Now that we have the actual playmakers to really dial in when it's time and be like, hey man, it's time to go out here and make a play. We got that. And then on top of that, you got Freddie Kitchens, who, when he became the offensive coordinator, I never, ever seen us have a successful screenplay. Never. It was impossible. It was like, why are we the only team where we do a screenplay that nothing comes out of it? Absolutely nothing. It looks like stupid. Like, why do you even run it? Not even did he have screenplays where he had trick plays working. I mean, that magic just doesn't come out of nowhere. That magic just doesn't happen for everybody because we see, we see, we try to have that shit happen. And it didn't work. This team is going to be crazy, man. I ain't no gambling man, but I bet the house that we won't win that Super Bowl. I definitely bet the house that we're going to get there. But if you can get more, saying that you win the Super Bowl, you can make a double bet, shit, I'll make it. I ain't no gambling man though. Like I said, man, I don't I don't do all of that shit. Uh I lose my house. Cause I'm the opposite. When I make a bet, it don't work. But for those that do bet, I would say bet on it. Because I am that confident. And then you get Steve Wilkes, who already is a good defensive coordinator. If you look at his stats, he can stop the run. 
His defense was always on top because he was great at keeping the run at bay, keeping the run at a minimum. He was struggling with the, with the passing yardage allowed. We ain't going to have that problem no more. He ain't going to have that problem. He, he over here like, let's get it. Licking his chops, baby. Man. I'm so I'm so I'm so hyped up, man. I'm fired up. Like I guess I'm a bask in it. Everybody I run into, Kings of the North, we I'm calling, I'm claiming it. Man, this is a fucking story. Got we gonna be we was 0 16 just a couple years ago, and now we're gonna be 19 and 0. What kind of effing story? Who writes this shit? Who writes this? I don't know. I'm so excited, y'all. Dog Pound, let's come together, man. Kumbaya. The city on man, Cleveland ain't gonna exist no more, man. We but hey man, y'all better get some homeowners insurance. Cause when we win that Super Bowl, man, this shit gonna be crazy. Alright, y'all, man. I ain't got nothing else to say. This is just a rant. I can't believe I ran it for 11 minutes on this dumb shit. But I apologize for y'all having to listen this long, but I'm excited. I hope y'all excited. The real assistant Browns fans signing out. Peace.